is Saturday afternoon, man. I finally got that video posted. Um, you know, there was no signal until I got to Selma. I left Troy had signal, then there was no signal. Then I had signal in Montgomery, and then there was no signal until I got to Selma. So, and that's where I'm picking up. I picked up out of the, uh, the paper yard here in Selma. So, I finally got that video uploaded. Now I can start on this one and uh, carry on. That's sweet tea. I uh, had to stop off and get Burger King. So I ended up, which they screwed up my order, man. Every time I, you know what? I should just stop eating fast food all in general. You know, at, at all, at all. Even if I have to, just starve, I guess, because, you know, it ended up blowing up in my face. What turned out, what should have been a five minute fucking deal, turned out to be a half an hour deal. And at that point, I could have just microwaved one of my meals that I have and ate the shit. The whole reason why I didn't do that is because I wanted to run in, grab some, and fucking go. Because I am way, way behind schedule, man, because of all the bullshit at Troy with my window. And then my fuel pump for my APU. So, I mean, so once again, here I am behind fucking schedule, which I hate it, man. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I have nothing better to do other than drive. So when I get my shit to where I need to go, like I get my load, I want to go. I don't want to sit around and wait, man. There ain't no food in Troy, so I had to order food last night. I had to split it on a pizza with a guy. So it just, it's because they had my truck. So I didn't even have my food. I couldn't even cook anything. So then I got stuck like Chuck and I had to fucking order something, man. I just, you know what, man? It just, it sucks, man. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I fucking hate it. But I deal with it because this is what I got going on, man. That's what life sliced me off, man. They gave me that piece of meat to eat it. So I got to chew on it, man. But, you know, I ate a Taco Bell there once before. And they screwed up my order, man. My shit is too easy, man. Meat and motherfucking cheese. All right? Meat, motherfucking cheese. No, I don't want lettuce. No, I don't want tomatoes. I don't want that shit. Okay? All right? I don't like that shit. I don't. I've tried eating tomatoes. I don't like it. I tried eating lettuce. I don't like it. Motherfuckers can't talk shit. I eat mushrooms, cauliflower, broccoli. You know what I'm saying? Asparagus. The shit. Uh, spinach. I eat the shit that nobody likes. So, because I don't like lettuce and I don't like tomatoes... You know, fuck it, you know, I can't judge me, but, uh, so what turned out to be a five minute deal turned out to be a 30 minute deal because I got in there, they made my food. I got back to the truck and I started eating it. I ordered a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger. It was a single. What happened to the other patty, man? Like, you know, the chick didn't charge me for the tea. And then the one lady was like, oh, he wanted a tea. You got to charge it for the tea. So she had to charge it. So I had to do a separate thing for the tea. Because I thought, I don't know. They don't have like a screen like McDonald's does. So I was like, all right, cool. That's what it is. And then it was just all fucked up, man. And it sucks, man. I I won't be eating at Selma anymore. But you know what that is? That's the that's that's the universe telling me that I shouldn't have ate that shit anyways, man. But I had no fucking choice, man. I can't, like, hold a fork in a tray and eat at the same time, man. Like, that shit's not safe. I need to hold on to the steering wheel. So, I mean, I guess I could have. But it was supposed to be a five-minute deal. So, I, it didn't. But whatever, man. It's cool. I mean, I'm over it. I'm rolling now. And I'll take care of it. It's all good, man. I'll make the miles back up. Um, I haven't hit my 14-hour mark, so I still got plenty of drive time left. So, we're good. I mean, I'm over it. I vented. <sighs> Thank you for letting me do that. <laughs> but, uh, man, I got the word of the day. Got the quote of the day. And, uh, we'll start off with that. It's like, I can't seem to... <laughs> it just, it stopped for a minute and then just turns really bright man it makes my whole my whole face light up so I guess I could just see there's nothing I could do man there ain't 
I don't know. There's nothing I can do. Y'all just got to deal with it, man. I look like an angel. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but anyways, man. So the word of the day is encourage or encouragement. Give confidence or hope to someone. And uh, that's why I'm doing this. I hope to encourage y'all to be better people. I hope I encourage y'all to do good things. Oh, that's gonna suck, man. Okay, anyways. I hope I encourage y'all to live better lives, man. And like I said, there is no ceiling to it, so. So, you know, you, there is no. Man, I am hauling ass to here. Oh. Um, there is no ceiling, man. So if you feel you're a good person now, there's still more you can do to be a better person. So, you know, there ain't no ceiling to that shit, man. So I hope I encourage y'all to do good stuff, man. I encourage myself to do it. I watch these videos myself. And it's funny because I laugh at the stuff that I laugh at. <laughs> so I see myself laughing, I think it's funny, and I start laughing. So I am my number one fan. But, uh... You know, I encourage myself to try to be better, man. I, I, I slice myself down into pieces, man. I say, what can I do better here? What can I do better here? And I, I was talking to my friend. She's going through some stuff, man. And I told her, I said, look, you know, you got to, it's like a puzzle. When you try to fix yourself. You try to bring yourself back together. You can't do it all at once, man. It just turns into a lump of shit. And it, it's just, it remains broken. So what you got to do is build yourself section by section and then stick all those sections together. So it's like a puzzle. When you make when you build a puzzle, what do you do? You find your corners, right? And then from there, you find all your border pieces. You line your border up and now you got your border. And then you fill the inside. When you try to repair yourself, man, and make yourself a better person, it's the same concept, man. You find your corner pieces. Then you get your border. And then you start filling on the inside, man. So you already got your structure made. So you already know what you want to put in that structure. And then you find the pieces and you build it section by section. And then you fit it all together. So piece by piece by piece by piece it all forms together like Voltron. So, and I hope that me telling her that helped her. You know, I really hope it does. Because she needs it. So... That's what I did. You know, I, I found aspects in my life that I needed to fix. Because I tried to fix myself all at once, man. It just, and I fall off that horse, fall off that horse, fall off that horse. So, I said, all right, man, well, I'll just do this, do this. And then by section and piece and section by piece, now we got the dude who I am today, which I'm no better than anybody else, man. I'm not trying to be like, oh, holier than fucking now. No. No, 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 no. Every time I move my hand or something. See, what the? I don't understand that. I don't know, man. Whatever, man. I'm over it. But, uh, you know, I'm nowhere near the person I want to be. I'm still... I don't feel I'm even close, man, but... Maybe that's just a confidence deal or self-esteem deal. You know, they say like a bodybuilder, bodybuilder's never happy with himself. No matter, no matter how good he can look, he's always fat somewhere. Or his calves don't look as good as he'd like. Or, and I'm the same way, man. My soul is just not where it needs to be. So I, you know, I don't know if I'll ever reach a point to where it is. Is there a point to where it is? We don't know. So, so yeah, man. Rome wasn't built in a day. I say that all the time. So, you know, you got to do it piece by piece, section by section, and then fit it all together, man. And it takes a little time, man. It's not overnight. It's not anything that's instant. I've been doing this shit now, trying to make myself a better person. Long time, man. Long time. Really, I've been putting a lot more effort into it the last couple of years, but, you know, it is what it is, and I am who I am now, and I'm way better than I've ever been, but I'm not, like I said, where I want to be, 
so we're continuing on. But uh, the quote of the day, since I was in Selma, I figured I'd go with this astonishing man that did amazing things for civil rights movement. Y'all should already know who I'm fitting to say. I figured it, since I was in Selma, it, um, it seemed fitting, but Martin Luther King Jr. once stated that only in the darkness can you see the stars. And that's very true, man. You know, they always say rock bottom's a good place to build a foundation, man. And, you know, just like that man said there, only in the darkness can you see the stars. So even when you're completely lost and in the darkness, man, there is light around you. You just need to see it. And that's what happened to me. And uh, I'm beneficial for that. That I, that I got the chance to see it. Not many people do, man. And it sucks because they end up uh, losing themselves in their battles. And it's a horrible thing, man. And some people turn to drugs. Some people go to suicide. You know, some people just completely throw their lives away because they don't feel they have another choice. And you do have another choice, man. There's always another option. Always. There's always another way, man. Always. So, so it's a beautiful day today. It is 75 degrees. Sunny. I would still need something to wear while I ride Wanda. It is chilly. Ish. You know, when you're on a bike. Springtime, man. Spring love is in the air, and uh, it just it feels good, man. And, you know, we're getting older now. I see more and more gray in my beard. And I'd like to settle down, but I'm not gonna settle for less than what I deserve. But I would like to settle down. Um, I still got a lot on my plate, man. I got this whole big journey I've mapped out for my life and I'm gonna need somebody who's gonna be very supportive of what I got going on because it's gonna be tremendous it's gonna be massive man it's just gonna be some crazy shit and uh, <laughs> you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to take me as far to the top as possible man all the way up so I need somebody who's strong and supportive man and honest and loyal and respectful and you know not only can they represent themselves in a fantastic fashion but also represent me too you know what I mean so I wonder why our, our generation is so screwed on the love department man like are we just that selfish or are we that damaged or I mean what is it what is it you know, I see it all the time you know I'm back on Facebook and, you know I just if it isn't political which I haven't seen a lot of political stuff lately thank God even after the health bill or whatever whatever they're trying to pass I've seen some people talking shit about it you know but um nothing nothing like it was after the election man I just I can't be around all that negativity man I soak all that shit in and you know my body receives energy and then puts it back out so I try to load myself around positivity soak it in to push it back out man and try to just you know spread the positivity and spread good vibes man and you know Facebook was just so negative political bullshit, man, like, all of a sudden, everyone's political analysts, all of a sudden, like, you know what I mean, like, aren't you a car salesman, dude, like, <laughs> what, what do you know about fucking politics, did you go to school for politics, no, no, you, oh, you, oh, you got your high school diploma, and you sell cars, oh, but you are, you know, fucking goddamn government specialist, oh, right on, go fuck yourself, go sell cars, so, that's how I feel about it, man. You know, I got to be in government. I know how government works. Uh, 
I am not a specialist in any way, shape, or form. I didn't carry on with it. I really did enjoy government class, though. Uh, I couldn't see myself as a politician, though, man, because I just, I can't do shady shit like that. Them motherfuckers are shady as fuck. All, all of them got shade to them. Bernie got shade to him. Hillary got shade to her. Trump got shade to him. Uh, they all got shade, man. They all got shade. Some kind of shady something or other anywhere, man. I mean, just some, they all got some kind of... We all do. We all got skeletons in our closet, man. But I just, you know, people get wrapped up over that shit, man. Like I said, it's the bank owners that truly run this country. So here we are, nation divided over some stupid motherfuckers that give two shits about us anyways, man. It's all just a dog and pony show. Our forefathers are rolling in their fucking graves right now. So. Anyway, see? God damn it. I'm talking about politics. One, one political, man. Look. I hate myself, no. But. Love, 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 man. Love, love, love. You know... I was talking to my homegirl the other night, man. She works with me. And uh, she's dating this guy. And she keeps catching him cheating, girl. And I'm like, girl, what? Why? Why are you even with this dick bag? They run a truck together. First of all, you do way better than that fucking redneck looking fucking loser motherfucker. And second of all, why do you even deal with the fact that he's cheating? Get rid of him. It's obvious that you are the better person in this. And he needs you more than you need him. So get rid of them, dump them off, like fucking a man. I just, you know, are we are, are we as a generation that desperate for love, man? That we just kind of accept, accept it. I mean, I did for a whole minute, man. On a couple situations, I was a couple relations I was in, man, where I accepted the abuse that I was getting or the lies or, you know, the sneaking around or what have you. And uh, no longer will I do that. Any chick that I date, let me catch you texting an ex-boyfriend. Go ahead. Yeah, bet that. Let's see you texting the ex that, uh, you know, you shouldn't be texting. You know, if, it, if you got a kid with them, you know, the kid's around, then yeah, you got to obviously make conversation. That, man, but, but, I mean, you know, all these, uh, 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 inappropriate conversations, man. If you cannot be open with, with a conversation you're having with someone and you feel the need to hide it, you shouldn't be having it. That's plain Jane. That's the real deal Holyfield right there. You should not you should not be doing that shit, man. And I just I don't see what why people can't grasp onto that. You shouldn't be flirting with your ex. They're your ex for a reason. If y'all were, you know, meant to be, it'd still be together. You wouldn't be with someone else. So, I just, I don't know, man. All that lying and cheating and bullshit, man. And It's too hard to do. It's too much effort for me, man. Now I gotta satisfy two women. And deal with all their shit and all that. You got one and then you gotta keep the secret from the other one. And then the other one you got on the side. Unless she knows she's a side chick. Which any chick that openly admits, admits that she's a side chick, you know, when she's cool with it, that sucks, man. Get some respect. Get some respect. Because at the end of the day, you're still a side chick. You ain't the main. So, is that what you want to be? You want to be a secret? You want to be on the side? You want to be on the sidelines? Or do you want to play the game? So, you know what I mean? I don't... I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't understand. Uh, maybe I'm not cut out for that shit then, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's how life is now. I mean, is it? I don't know. I've been single since my divorce back in 06. My ex-wife was my last real girlfriend. I've dated, but nothing serious. Nothing like, man, this is my girlfriend. Nah, man. Smashed through some chicks. Didn't work out. They went on, and that's that. The one person I did have a chance that it could have been something serious, man, I fucked that all up. So, she knows who she is. But, I mean, is that, I just don't understand, man. I hope, 
it kind of turned me off to dating a lot. Like, I just don't want to deal with that kind of bullshit, man. I don't want to deal with that kind of drama. Because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking cold-blooded. Once you turn on me, that's it. Once I catch you, that's it. If we're living together and I catch you cheating, your shit will be in boxes and I will move you the fuck out of my house. Simple as that. I'll help you move. I'll load my truck up. I'll put you somewhere else. You can fucking go. You want to cheat on me? Go be with that motherfucker then. So, I just, I don't know, man. So if y'all got that going on, I don't know. I just do something about it, I guess. But lying and cheating, that shit ain't honorable, man. And I talk about that all the time, and it's something that I will not do. I, I don't, if I'm with somebody, I'm with somebody, man. And I, for, for dudes, I don't know if it's a masculinity thing. Like, ha, I got some side pussy or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't get it, man. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I'm, maybe I am different, man, or... Maybe I'm a douche. Maybe I'm the douche. I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't. I really just don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, man. I know I've been rambling, ramb, rambling out of that. I can't even talk anymore. I've done talking so much. But I've been rambling for like 20 minutes, man. I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna continue on driving. I gotta get this scale loaded out, man, and get rid of this sweet ass bullshit, man. Ugh. Fuck. I need my unsweet. Right meow. Need some coffee, and I'm just gonna try to bang ass up to good old fucking New York again. They keep sending me to New York, but they're not sending me where I want to go, man. Julian lives in Buffalo. They're sending me to Albany. So here's Buffalo. Here's Albany. Completely other side of the state. Directly across the other side of the state, man. I am in line with Buffalo, and I can't. I'm just completely on the other side of the state, man. Subs. Because I would like to see my kid, man, so. Right on, man. Y'all be good. Love, peace, chicken grease. Something interesting happens today. I'll try to get on it. But other than that, I think this just may be the video. Maybe the video I'll put up here in a little bit. So, now we're all caught up. I don't really got anything interesting going on, so. Hope y'all are having a good day, man. Hope the weather's good wherever you're at, man. Get that uh, 10 pounds of carne asada. <laughs> do you want some carne asada, man? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, and hopefully, man, next week will bring good stuff, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll hear something about that job, man, and get on with it, because I'm... I'm way, way past ready. Way past ready, so. But the Lord will provide when it comes time. Or the aliens, or karma, or Mother Earth, or whatever you want me to say to fit in there that doesn't offend anybody for crying out loud, then that was what we'll put in there. For me, it's God. For you, it could be Lord Zorgon. I don't fucking know. Or whoever. Goddamn toilet paper roll. I don't know. Later!